We're here with the best manager in all the baseball, Buck Show. What's well, so Buck? You know, I, I heard from you in the Ed Randall show that uh, about that nowadays rookies don't get hazed. That that's <laughs> gone out the window. <laughs> Not much. There's, and I think it's good too, for the most part. It's, uh, you know, they're wearing your colors, and you try to make their path a little easier. And these kids, they come up so quick now, mm. and if, sometimes you got five or six of them on the same club. So uh, I'm not so sure some of that stuff wasn't what well, was a good idea to start with. Mm. Now, also, you were talking about with it, with the Randall that how how do you that you adapted to the analytical? Well, how do I, you, you know, think, it's kind of, how do I think what? How do you think Billy Martin would have if somebody would have told him, you know, what this guy's hitting to to right field? How do you think with his temperament and with the way he's vision would things worked out with that? Well, first of all, Billy would do anything to win. So if you could prove to him that, that would help him win, he'd have done it. Hmm. Billy didn't care. He just, you know, he wanted the Yankees to win. and But but you better be right. If you're wrong, he's he not going to stay with it very long. And how long did it take you to say, you know what, they got they got a good they got a good no. point because a lot of managers say you know what the great managers like you no. they say you know what, I got to go with my gut and my no instinct. it's there's it's both it's both the best organizations embrace certain things that you only can find out from being in the clubhouse on the field and with your eyes and, and there's certain things that uh, numbers really help you with and I I love to have what my eyes look like confirmed by uh, numbers so it, you know it's it's a combination of both the best teams don't shut down anything, they try to use all information available.